The goal of the Image Segmentation Lab is to translate medical image slices into a 3D model. This video will give you a brief tutorial on some of the key steps of this process. In this video, I'm going to use the example of a glenohumeral joint, or the shoulder. My goal is to create a segment of the superior portion of the humerus and the humeral head. The first step will be to load the image slices into the software called ITK Snap. This is a free software that's downloaded onto the lab computers. Browse to the folder location where you've already downloaded your file that you plan to analyze. Select the file and load it in. After you load it in the image, I recommend that you orient yourself to the image slices. You're going to notice that there's three different panels in view. The first one on the upper left hand corner is the axial view. The one I'm scrolling through now is the sagittal view. And the one in the bottom right hand corner is the frontal view. To begin image segmentation, we will label different segments. So for this example, I can create a segment specific to the humerus. If I want to pay attention to other parts in the shoulder, I can create labels for those too. So perhaps I want to create a label for the medullary cavity and call it marrow for short. I could also create another label for other bones like the scapula. One important thing to note is that the image starts off with a default label. Uh, everything starts off with a default label that's called label zero. So label zero means it's not part of any segment. And if you paint with this label zero, you could think of it as erasing rather than adding to a segment. There are a couple ways to add to segments and I'm gonna start off with the polygon mode to select around the regions that I wanna paint. So in manual image segmentation, you wanna paint or select the pixels that you want to include in the segment. For the humerus in a CT image, such as this, the pixels are going to appear bright white. So I'm going to select the white elliptical sort of cross-sectional region of the humerus. So with the polygon selection tool, it's gonna to fill it in, uh, but I might want to actually disregard that middle section. So a couple different ways I could do this. Um, since I don't want that intermedullary cavity in the segmentation, I can either create a new segment with this if I want to keep it for something else, making sure to um, making sure that paint over all labels is selected. Or alternatively, I can just paint over that medullary cavity area with the clear label to erase it. With manual segmentation, you have to repeat this process for each individual slice of the image. There are some features in ITK Snap that make this a little bit more tolerable, like being able to copy the last polygon from the previous segment. But you can imagine that painting and selecting each of these slices can be pretty tedious. For this reason, we're also going to practice with some of the auto segmentation tools. When you want to begin the automatic segmentation process, you should select a region of interest, or ROI for short. In each of the views, you want to modify the dashed box to encompass just the region that you're segmenting. So check each view to ensure that you aren't cutting off any part of the anatomical feature you're trying to isolate, but at the same time, you do want to make sure that the ROI is as small as possible to cut down on computational time. After you have adjusted your ROI boxes, you can click the Segment 3D button. Select the label that you want to focus on. So I will focus on just the humerus from now on. The next step is called pre-segmentation. In pre-segmentation, you want to set threshold values based on the cutoff for pixel intensity. Since I'm segmenting the humerus and it appears bright white in the CT image, I want to select values that focus on those brighter pixels. To get a ballpark of the pixel intensity values, I can use the cursor to click around and find values. On the left-hand side of the screen, there's a panel that tells me the intensity of the pixels where my cursor is. My goal is to set a threshold that filters out the in intensities that I want. In the speed image, I can see how my threshold is affecting these values. I want my intended features to appear white on the speed image. I want the pixels that shouldn't be included in the segment to appear blue. Any pixels that I'm unsure of will appear grayscale. 
The next step is initialization with bubbles. I'm going to select the areas of the image that the automatic segmentation should, co should consider as starting points for the segment. I like to include bubbles at multiple levels and throughout the anatomical features. Do you have initialized with bubbles, the next step is to do the evolution step. This step uses the speed map from your threshold values and the bubbles that you initialize with. So the areas of the image with high speed, which are likely part of the segment, will be included. Hit, hit the active con contour button and let this run for several hundred iterations. You should be able to visualize the segmentation growing in the image slice that you have on screen. You can also pause the control of evolution, click the update button, and see a preview of the 3D model that the segmentation is creating. If you see any gaps in the segmentation, you can go back and add bubbles, or you can reactivate the control of evolution to let it go for several more iterations. If you're using ITK Snap on a laptop or another computer with limited processing power, I don't recommend using the back button between step two and three, because we've found that this can cause the high likelihood of the software to crash or stop responding. Instead, if you need to increase the area of your segmentation, you can click the finish button, and then start the segmentation process again using the snake tool. This time, select the box that says initialize with the current segmentation. You can go back and add more bubbles in the areas that the snake segmentation didn't reach the last time. In my example, part of the segmentation started to bleed into the scapula. For this case, I would want to go back and remove that part from the segmentation. The options are to rewind in the active contour or to edit the segmentation manually. You can edit the segmentation created by the snake tool with the manual segmentation tools that we covered in the beginning of this video, like the paintbrush or the polygon tool. In this case, I will go back and take out the scapula section with the clear label zero. You can also go back in and add in any sections that were left out as gaps from the active contour segmentation. For your first segmentation lab, you only need to segment one anatomical feature. However, it is possible to add in multiple segments. So if I want to, I can create another segment of the scapula with the blue scapula label that I created. When you are satisfied with your segmentation, you can export the 3D model. For this lab, we will use this model to make anatomical measurements. ITK Snap allows you to identify some dimensions, but the limitation is that you can only make measurements in the planes of the image slices. With a 3D model and 3D software, you can measure the features that are out of plane. 